Well, right now, San Diego Unified Superintendent Cindy Martin on Capitol Hill taking questions from lawmakers who will decide whether she serves as Deputy Secretary of the U.S. Department of Education. ABC 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie joining us live. And Mary, as you were listening to Dr. Martin's hearing here in San Diego, a group was protesting her nomination. Hey, and Martin was being grilled by Senate committee members this morning and then also grilled by proxy as protesters here in San Diego at the San Diego district headquarters. I find it very hard to believe that she could be a competent person to lead across the country when she has not done a sufficient job here in San Diego. About 30 people who came to the protest, including members of the National Action Network and the National Parents Union, where organizers said they feel Martin's unqualified for the job, calling out her track record, which they claim highlights racial education gaps and disproportionate suspension and expulsion rates for black male students during her tenure. And this was happening as Dr. Martin was facing questions from the Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee, some of whom praised her lengthy K through 12 experience in the classroom and as an administrator. Others highlighted her lack of higher education experience. Overall, she was challenged on her readiness to act as Deputy Secretary of Education. Essentially, it's a COO of a department with a $73.5 billion annual budget and a $1.6 trillion student loan portfolio. So some of the topics from senators included um, school reopenings, student homelessness, teacher shortages, and school achievement gaps. And listen to this from Senator Bill Cassidy of Louisiana who asked if she believed that the Department of Ed could forgive student loan debt without congressional approval, a question she essentially declined to answer. That sounds a little bit like a rehearsed answer. <laughs> In fact, it sounds entirely like you were a prep for that. Um, I guess what I want is the unprepped answer. So the vote on her confirmation hasn't happened yet, and there's a lot of attention on this one, given the importance of education, especially during the pandemic. There's been plenty of talk throughout the morning about reopenings and how San Diego has handled the challenges during this time. Reporting live from home, Mary McKenzie, ABC 10 News.